Hey guys, if we haven't had the chance to meet yet, my name is Caitlin Kebby, and I serve as the Student Ministries Director at our Blue Springs location. And now a fun fact about me, I am the oldest of nine younger siblings in my crazy family. Now, I don't know about y'all, I love all my siblings to death, but they're the worst sometimes. They're always in the way at just the perfect moment, and they always seem to be the center of attention. They always know how to say that one thing that always really just pokes at you. But you love them anyways, right? Because they oftentimes don't know any better. Now let's take a look into some scripture. Uh, today, for the first passage from today comes from Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 through 14. And it reads, Some people brought children to Jesus so that he would place his hands on them and pray. But his disciples scolded them. Allow the children to come to me, Jesus said. Don't forbid them, because the kingdom of heaven belongs to people like these children. Now, I'm thinking the disciples are feeling exactly how I do sometimes with my own siblings. They saw all these children walking over to try and get in the way of the miracle working Jesus. The disciples were like, uh, hello, Jesus is like literally right here and he's a little bit busy. Um, we have an infant soothing room like right over here. So no, no, no. Jesus in the verse 14 even said, allow the children to come to me. Don't forbid them, because the kingdom of heaven belongs to people like these children. So here Jesus is saying, Actually, disciples, these kids having the opportunity to experience me matters just as much as it does to you. Their relationship with me is just as important as yours. They love me just as much as you love me. And it can be really hard to feel like your relationship with Jesus is, is not as significant just because you're young. But Jesus said otherwise. Now, another fun fact for you is I actually struggle with this a lot myself. Now, I'm one of the newest members of the student ministries team, and I happen to be one of the youngest employees at Resurrection. Being young and being in a big kid director role is actually kind of intimidating sometimes. And I often catch myself saying, I'm not old enough, or I'm not experienced enough, or how could I possibly know enough? But that's what I love most about our student ministries team. We believe in this. Your age does not hinder you from a relationship with Jesus, and it matters. So our next scripture from today comes from Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 through 4. And it reads, At that time the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Then he called a little child over to sin among the disciples and said, I assure you that if you don't turn your lives around and become like this little child, you will definitely not enter the kingdom of heaven. Those who humble themselves like this little child will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus even shared with the disciples that we should have little faith like a child. But what does that mean exactly? You know, when we think about children, we often think about optimism and joy and love. Kids often don't know any better or they act without thinking about how others will perceive them first. Oftentimes, children also have faith and trust in the consistent adults in their lives the ones who took care of them and who met their needs. Can you imagine what our lives would look like if our faith modeled those things? That total trust in God and a life filled with optimism, joy, and love? A life where we went to God for our needs and not the world? So here's the point today, friends. Your age doesn't limit your relationship with Jesus and it actually gives you a model for how to pursue your faith.